working on our personality placemats. Okay, we now have this placemat, which is my daughter, who's the drummer, and we've got it all machine quilted. And we're gonna pull off all our extra strings here. And on this, I'm gonna explain this, because this is another uh, fun thing to do, because you can put photographs on here. Family photos, your pet photos, just fun photos, whatever you want to do. This happens to be a hobby of my daughter's. And she printed that on what we call fabric printout sheets. Okay, you can get these at Walmart. There is iron-on. Um, there's different kinds you can get. On the iron-on transfers, I have found that um, if it's something you use a lot, you're going to throw in the washer. Eventually, the iron-ons will crack and kind of distort and dis just kind of fall apart. These right here, now they've gotten these sheets. And basically, all it is is fabric that is ironed or sealed to a piece of paper. You can do the same thing by cu cutting a piece of muslin, 8.5 by 11, that will fit into your inkjet printer. Iron it onto an 8.5 by 11 sheet of freezer paper, just like we showed in the earlier step. And then you can feed that through your printer. The freezer paper stiffens the fabric. So you can make your own printer sheets. I like to buy them probably because it's fast, it's convenience. Uh, now you can buy them where they tell you that they're color fast, they're already pre-treated. You don't have to try and pre-treat them to keep inks from bleeding. And it'll say down here, use with your color inkjet printer. And so all she did is downloaded her picture on, fed this through our printer. And then there's a paper backing you just peel off. And then this just becomes a piece of um, regular 8.5 by 11 piece of fabric. Okay, it's kind of hard to separate that, but it does separate just like it did from when we did our freezer paper. So it's just fabric. Okay, and that's all I've done on here. So now we're ready. We take our piece of vinyl that is um, 13 by 19. Get all your pieces off and you want to cover this. And I want to preserve that artwork, so I'm going to cover that. And I have these bobby clips or barrettes, whatever you call them. But believe it or not, now you're going to find them in the craft section, sewing section, because now we use them for sewing, not just our hair. And so you don't punch a hole in the vinyl. I use these to hold my vinyl in place while I put the binding on. The binding is what's going to seal this whole sandwich.